Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at how to organize our breakout rooms in Zoom. So the first thing you want to do is when you are in Zoom, go to zoom.us and log into your account and then go down to the settings option because you want to go to the in meeting advanced setting and make sure that you've enabled your breakout rooms and then you can either allow the host to assign participants to a breakout room when they're scheduling or you can have it set to just automatically do that during the meeting but if you don't have this button right here turned on prior to the meeting you won't be able to use the breakout rooms feature now when you are in your profile you can click on meetings and if you schedule meetings for your classes you can actually set up those breakout rooms in advance so as I'm scheduling the meeting let's just say I'm going to call this class 601 as an example and we're going to meet at this time and looking through this all looks fine and I'm going to click on the breakout rooms pre-assigned because I want to assign those breakout rooms in advance now by doing that I can create the rooms that I want and you can see here I can add in a room and then for each of the rooms I can add participants and you would add participants by their email addresses so the difficulty here is that we're making the assumption that students are logging in with their institutional email addresses if they log in with a different email address or if they happen to go on a family members computer or a colleagues computer and they happen to be logged in to zoom already with their email address it would prevent us from being able to do this assignment in advance or pre-meeting so I always recommend to folks that we don't pre-assign them it's much easier to assign them in the room as we are actually assigning the breakout room at that time so let's take a quick look at an example of how we might structure this and set this up in a meeting and it's going to come from a recording from one of the classes in the School of Nursing that I took earlier in the year and you'll see that the instructor goes through and outlines how the breakout rooms are going to be done and the expectations she has for those rooms as they're happening. Let's see how many folks we have. We have 31 folks. Great. We got everybody here. Um, so I'm going to, we're going to practice with breaking out into groups. Um, so this is an introduction. This is your icebreaker for the evening. So if you could um, identify your group spokesperson um, as you report um, into the group, to, that would help because I would like them to report out to the larger group. Um, as just kind of a summary of where you, what you've been talking about. I'd like you to introduce yourself to your group. So go off mute when you come into the group. Uh, what is your clinical practice? Where do you practice? And uh, if you could share, um, I, I posted a video called um, uh, on, on myths around COVID-19. So if you could share what your number one evidence-based practice challenge has been since the COVID-19 um, outbreak. And um, whoever has been elected or voluntold to be the spokesperson, if you could come back to the group and give a quick two-minute report out uh, to the group. So we'll see how that works um, for this evening. So we're all going to give ourselves some grace to kind of get through this, and uh, we'll see how this works. So with that, I'm going to pause share. Break you out into six groups. And it's automatic, and it's your your sign. So then, if you don't already have never done this before, you just when you see it click, you just join. Okay. So if you look at this example, there were a couple of key features that the instructor did here. The first is both in a verbal sense as well as through the information that was on the slide. The instructor provided an overview of what her expectations were for the activities that were going to take place in these breakout rooms. She let the students know that both herself and some of the other instructors in the course would be dropping in and out of the breakout rooms as they were happening. 
She described what she expected of each student, starting from what she wanted them to do from when they first got into the breakout room by saying that she wanted each student to introduce themselves and listed off the specific things that she wanted them to mention about her sub each of them. Then she assigned specific roles. So she talked about having a reporter that was available for each of the groups so that they could report out at the end. Finally, she gave a specific timeline. So she told them how long the activity was going to take place. If you notice on the slide, it indicates how much material the students will have to report out at the end in terms of a time frame for that. So it gave them a way to organize their own work while they were in a more independent part of the environment within Zoom. So this has been a quick video that looks at how you can go about organizing breakout rooms when you're in Zoom, both in terms of setting them up within your Zoom account, as well as actually how you would structure that kind of activity with the students.